Hello Virgo, welcome uh, to your love reading Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Virgo, in this reading we'll be focusing on your new person or your current connection. So please take it how it resonates and what resonates for your overall situation. Virgo, if you would like to become a member of the channel and have an access to the extra content, in the description box below there is a link to the membership. And only if you have a wish, please join. All your support is greatly appreciated. Okay, let's see, Virgo. Let's see, what do we have for you? Someone is thinking a lot, that's for sure. Let's see, Virgo. Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. What do we have for Virgo, please? Knight of Pentacles, Knight of Cups. Seven of Cups, that's what I was getting. So we have Knight of Pentacles, Knight of Cups, Two of Pentacles, the Chariot, Seven of Cups, Six of Cups, <laughs> Knight of Pentacles, Knight of Cups, Two of Pentacles, Seven of Cups, Six of Cups, Virgo, you have someone here who is unsure if you reconnected or if you want to reconcile with someone with whom you might share history with, with someone from your past. It's like this person doesn't know where they stand with you. Yeah, they, they feel that you have options in love. They do want to chase you, but it's like... I feel this is someone who is very unsure if you like them. The same way as they like you. Knight of Pentacles, yeah. Knight of Cups. This is someone who, Virgo, who is uh, preparing to come forward with an offer of love. Mainly I'm getting someone who wants to date you. It's like this person is preparing themselves to ask you on a date. But with the two of pentacles, there is something here about the past. With the, with the six of cups. There is something here about the past that they feel unsure about. If you are, you know, if you close that chapter. Or if you still kind of attach to the past. Or if there is something like you feel unfinished business with someone. you might be dealing with um we have cancerian energy with the chariot let's see could you please show me more eight of cups King of Pentacles. Strength. And Justice. Yeah, they want to know. Temperance. Oh, the Hanged Man in a... I don't do reversals, but we'll keep it that way. Temperance, uh, the hanged man in reverse position, page of swords. You might be dealing with Libra. We have Leo, also Pisces. 
Sagittarius. Expect this person to, in a, to, in a very kind of diplomatic way, uh, ask you a question in order to gain some sort of reassurance with the justice. Because you have someone who wants something stable with you, Virgo. But if you're not interested, this, this person will walk away with the Eight of Cups. Because it feels like this person doesn't want to feel stuck in a situation when someone doesn't feel the same way about them as they do. But I'm seeing them being very gentle with the temperance and the strength, being very diplomatic. But they are very curious. They have questions. And that energy indicates here that this person, uh, it feels like they made the decision that they, that, that they won't uh, be holding back anymore. They want to know. Because it feels like they want to take significant step towards you I feel this is someone who wants to invite you somewhere you know or indeed they want to ask you on a date but it's like they want reassurance could you please show me this person's feelings towards uh, Virgo Hierophant, Two of Wands, Wheel of Fortune. You may be dealing with Aquarius, Taurus, Scorpio, Leo. We have very strong Taurus. Six of Cups, Four of Pentacles. Um, Four of Wands, excuse me, and the Hanged Man, again. Well, I can tell you about their feelings for you. This is someone here who is planning future with you. They And they are focusing on a higher level of commitment. This person wants to be with you. And with the Wheel of Fortune, it feels like they want to take action. Six of Cups, Four of Wands. This is strong kind of soulmate energy, Twin Flame. You might be dealing with your Twin Flame. You might feel that way about them. Or they feel, actually, they feel about you that way. <laughs> yeah, it's like this person doesn't want to wait any longer. They want to take destiny in their own hands. I'm getting someone who doesn't want to just, you know, leave it to, to, to the chance or like, you know, you know what I mean? Just, oh, if it happens, it will happen. No, this is someone who wants to act, who wants to be 100% kind of, you know, a master, I don't know if I can say, it, but like master of their own destiny, something like this. But this is someone who, who sees future with you. They want to be in a relationship with you. They feel very strong soul connection. This person has love for you, Virgo. Could you please show me how this person sees this whole situation? Six of Pentacles, Knight of Wands, the world free of wands. Page of Swords, Ten of Wands and King of Swords. They want to talk. I feel this is someone who's been holding back with that communication with to be to be more um, detailed. I feel this is someone who's holding back with regards to asking you something about your past or a past person or an ex. And it's starting becoming quite draining because this is something that it's continuously kind of playing on this person's mind. And with the Ten of Wands, it's starting to becoming a burden because it's not addressed. And it's tiring, exhausting and draining. That's why this person wants to talk. They have questions. Six of Pentacles, Knight of Wands, the World and Three of Wands. This is someone here who... 
there might be a physical distance between the two of you, but it's like they see expansion and growth. But the, here is the thing. It's like this person is coming from the place I won't act until I know what is truly going on. And they do want to take action, you know, but it's like they really want to have that sort of reassurance. If you are, if you close certain chapter and you are ready to move forward, you know, because they see expansion and growth with you when it comes to this connection. But I feel this is someone who wants to share, who wants you to share more with them about something from the past. Yeah. And if they have clarity and when they will gain clarity based on what they know from your account, then they will take appropriate action. Mm -hmm. Let's see how you see this situation, Virgo. Could you please show me how Virgo sees this whole situation? Oh gosh. So we have the full card. You might be dealing with Aries. Let's see. How Virgo, could you please show me Virgo's perspective? Could you please show me Virgo's perspective? Okay. Hmm. Very interesting. The full card, six of cups, five of cups. Page of cups, three of cups, two of swords. This is what they're showing me, okay? Virgo, I feel that uh, this is someone who is like a breath of fresh air. And with the full card, I feel that you are quite enthusiastic about, about this connection. I feel that you truly want to have a new beginning in love. But there is this situation here from this past. That it's a theme of this reading. And with the five of cups, it feels here that you might be still um, not fully over it. I feel that you might be still grieving something regarding a past connection, someone with whom you share history with. And again, as much as you want to have a new beginning, this situation from the past, it's still there emotionally, I feel, that you're still working, going through it or trying to kind of work through it. But based on those cards, I don't feel that you are completely over it. And you know, and that's fair enough. Maybe you need more time. Maybe it's something very fresh, you know. Everybody has their own rhythm. Time, they saying that time is the best healer. Page of Cups, Three of Cups. I feel that you really like this person. And I feel that you truly appreciate their company. This is someone who makes you feel, um, you know, as you can be them, as you can be yourself with them. They make you feel very comfortable. I feel there is something here about this person, sense of humor. I feel that you truly like this person's company. With the Page of Cups, I'm seeing you having very good intentions to, with regards to this connection and this person. But with the Two of Swords, yeah, it might be a case that at the moment you are at the crossroads because, again, you are still kind of working through a past situation. Okay, let's see. Could you please show me the outcome? The Lovers, Nine of Wands and Four of Swords. Temperance, Four of Cups and King of Swords. Mm -hmm. As an overall energy for this reading. I feel Virgo, this person with the, as an overall energy for this reading, Temperance with the Four of 
cups and king of swords they do want to talk with you about the situation because there is something here about this person feeling it's like they feel that you are kind of rejecting them i don't know if that's exactly what's going on you know please take it how it resonates but four of cups is energy of rejection or it's like we feel that something it's not 100 percent working for us it's like we are coming here with an offer of love but that offer is like greatly appreciated but in this context of this reading but it's not fully accepted and it's it feels like this person kind of feel that way temperance i'm seeing them being very kind of calm you know this is someone who doesn't want to cause any problems they want to maintain balance and tranquility and harmony between the two of you but they do want to talk about this okay we have you might be dealing with gemini we have more sagittarius aquarius um, the lovers nine of wands and four of swords yeah i feel that there is a um, strong soul connection you have with this person or you share both of you share a very strong soul connection there is an attraction and this connection has a potential but uh, you are showing up here virgo in this energy of nine of wands which is a wounded warrior kind of energy i feel that you've been through a lot um and i feel that you're trying to heal four of swords and i feel that the main message here is that everybody has you know again different rhythm some people can just move on some people need more time and n none of this approach is the right one because it's very subjective isn't it it just depends on 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 individual essentially and um i feel that you know even i'm getting here Virgo, that it's not that you are indifferent it's not that you don't care about this person it's not that you you don't even have feelings for them because i feel that you do but uh because of what you've been through you might be quite guarded you it might be quite difficult um to kind of put that guard down you know what i mean and to be just comfortable with regards to opening up to another individual i'm not get i'm not seeing here that you don't want to do it i feel that you do but again i feel that you've been through a lot and you need time to heal from a certain situation and four of swords uh, kind of portraying this uh, scenario i'm seeing you kind of uh healing from that situation but still being in touch with this person still being you know kind of enjoying each other's company but i feel that you need time what i would say as an advice is to um kind of explain this situation and if you truly care about this person based on those cards to be very gentle um if you care about them and you see future with this person um i feel that uh, it's important to mm, it's important to emphasize this in a sense of um how can i say it it's like um i care a lot about you i care about this connection i know that i might be a little bit guarded or kind of closed off um i I need more time to kind of you know heal from a certain situation but it's not that i am indifferent i care about you there is you might even you know it depends on your circumstances but um if you care about them i feel this is someone who really wants to be reassured that you care you care about this connection because they have plans this is someone who has serious plans yeah they they are planning future with you they like i mean like they they i feel this person is in love with you you know and it's like they do want to act but you might feel again it's i feel that you know you need to make a decision based on what it's working for you and it's not that you are selfish it's not that it's just You need more time 
for some of you I feel that that's what it is and it is not an easy situation I feel because I'm getting that you care a lot about them and I, I feel that you don't want to kind of you know to mess things up but at the same time I feel that there is a certain situation from the past that you might be still thinking about oh it's playing on your mind I feel it is important to to come forward here and emphasize that you care about this person that things will change that you might need more time but it's it's not that you don't want to kind of you know continue this connection you do but it's like you know please understand where i'm coming from something like this <laughs> uh, you know take it or leave it <laughs> That advice. I feel that you know exactly what to do. You know best your situation. You know best your emotions. And I feel it's just very important to to come forward with that attitude, full of understanding, you know, and being quite uh, gentle. Because I feel that you truly care about this person. You like their company a lot, and I feel that you know, so you developing feelings for them but um you know maybe timing it's not 100 percent right with the temperance temperance is divine timing and um but either way i feel that you know it is important for it, you you should be your priority i feel in this case because otherwise you know there is this kind of danger isn't it isn't that that when something is unresolved or it's like you know still playing on our our mind and we are still kind of emotionally attached to the past and we are jumping in another relationship and what if this person from the past su suddenly will come back what's going to happen then you know that kind of things mm -hmm. either way Virgo you have someone who cares a lot about you and they want to take action they want to kind of uh take this connection to the next level okay so if you are chatting this is someone who wants to go on a date with you but you have someone who's planning future with you they want to they would like to be in a relationship with you Virgo I will leave it here thank you so so very much for being with me please like share and subscribe and once again thank you very much for your time I truly truly appreciate you Virgo have a fantastic and absolutely gorgeous day and once again thank you very much for being with me I am sending you much much love till next time take care bye